Pam, I am, I'm so freaking excited about this episode. I'm so excited for you. So first of all, just congratulations on directing you. your first episode of Batwoman. Have you processed? So much. Yeah, it's, I'm still processing, to be honest. I, it's so crazy because directing is so fun. And I really enjoy it. And I've only been doing it for a couple of years. So I'm still, I don't know when I do it, I feel like I, I black out and I do it. And afterwards I'm just like, huh, what, what happened? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It's still settling. It's still setting in. Well, okay. So let's, let's take stock of this episode because mm -hmm. you got to, in this episode, you got to direct like the next Joker. You got <laughs> to direct Kiki Roulette. You got to do Alice and uh -huh. Alice and Mary scenes and Ryan and mom scenes and Ryan and Sophie scenes, you know, uh -huh. people are going to lose their minds and you got to direct you as bad. I mean, like, is there anything you didn't get to do in this episode? <laughs> Juggle. That's about it. Uh, no, that's not true. I pretty much was juggling the entire episode. No, it was great. It, it's like the writers of this episode, Nat, Chad, and James, they really put their foot in this episode. Like they, <laughs> it's crazy because when I read it, I was like, oh, this is the perfect script for me. Like there's all the things that I want to do. It's funny and it's fun and it's action packed and it's sexy and it's cool and it's dark. There's like, so many great moments in it and i really got to play the entire episode so yeah i man i feel so very lucky and blessed to got to have this opportunity this is gonna sound like i'm sucking up i promise i'm not this okay. i think is my favorite episode of the season what yeah. no way yeah dude i'm not i'm not trying to suck up i'm not trying to like become your best friend here because we're already best friends like genuinely this episode is so good and i think people are going to yeah. absolutely lose their minds hey yo thank you so much i'm not gonna lie to you i don't want to brag or anything but i'm very proud of it like i i you just brag I'm, you earned I'm, this hey i appreciate it right before we hopped on i clicked through just to see like you know what changed in the edit because you know after you direct an episode of tv it goes through a couple other edits that you know you're not really connected to so i just wanted to see like what may have changed what got cut and i even after some some small minor changes i still am such a big fan of what i saw and it makes me really really happy and you know because when you're on set i mean the cast had such a great time and the crew they're the first people that pushed me to do this in the first place so I, I knew that I was going to have fun because they're like my family, but you never know, like on the day you do a scene that's going well and you're like, this is great. And then you get to the edit and you're like, oh no, I hope it was great actually. Cause even though we were laughing and you know goofing off, I hope it looks good. I hope it sounds good. I hope it feels good. And man, it feels good. It I, I'm glad it does because it, it looks good. Was there like, what was the most challenging part? Cause like you said, there are a lot of moving parts in this episode, a lot of facets to it. What right. was like the most challenging one for you that as you were directing, you were like, okay, this is, we're going to take a minute here. Um, it's interesting because, you know, time like TV is, is very time efficient. Um, so I come from, you know, the short film world, as you know, um, so I, I do I do a lot of film work, filmmaking. And when it comes to me shooting my shorts, like, sure, of course, time is part of it, but it's not like you have to do this many scenes in the next 10 out in the next 12 hours. Right. So when I for my last animated short, She Dreams at Sunrise, that so is currently uh, NAACP Image Award. Yeah, yeah sure. it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did only have about eight to 10 weeks to make it. So we did, we were on somewhat of a time crunch for that. Well, it's not somewhat, we were on an extreme time crunch for that, but that was different because that was more of a length of time crunch. This was a, okay, you get to set and every single minute is money. So we had to figure out like, okay, if this scene is an hour and a half, you know, how do we make the next scene two hours so that we can have more scene, more time for the emotional scene. It was a lot of like moving chess pieces throughout the day, which was really fun for me because I like that constant problem solving because say that, oh, I'll give a perfect example. Uh, one of my early days was uh, crane shots. So we had like this really huge crane shooting these really awesome scenes on the outside of Wayne Tower. And when we got to set, we're 45 minutes behind. And I'm like, what's going on? And they say, well, the crane broke. So I was like, okay. So they were like, uh, my AD said, my, my AD Michelle did such a great job. She was like, this is what we can do. We can move the crane out later this evening and pull the crane in and do these scenes at the end of the day. But that means that you have to do all of these other scenes and finish them an hour early so that we have time to get the crane out get the new crane in and shoot the first scenes last. Oh and I was God. like, okay, that sounds crazy. Let's do it. <laughs> so 
it was a constant like, okay, so my scene was going to be two and a half hours. How do I push that down to two? How do I push the three hour scene down to two and a half? How do I make up this time? So the whole day is like, how do you, it's like, it's like math, you know? And that may be the hardest thing, but it's also in a way the most fun. Uh, I, if I walked onto a set and they said the crane is broken, I think I would just cry. Like that would be the moment that I'd be like, you know what? Never mind. This is hard. <laughs> you know what's, I, what I loved about that is I liked seeing my crew. This sounds dark in a way, but I like seeing my crew panicking because I, I like them being like, oh crap, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because then it's like, okay, now it's my job to calm everyone down. It's my job to say, there's got to be an answer. There's got to be a way and we'll get there. We'll figure it out. And not only did we do it, but we finished the day on time. And my our producing director, Holly Dale, who was really she was there with me the first half to really oversee and make sure things are going well. She walked up to me and she said, you realize that if you actually complete this day on time, you'll be a hero. And when I did it, she walked up to me and said, congratulations, you're a real director. And she gave me a hug. And ever since then, I was like, I'm going to this episode is going to be great. <laughs> so, so you're telling me you're a hero on screen and off screen. That's what they say. That's what they say. You know, I, I wouldn't say it, but, you know, <laughs> but I mean, like, I'll say it for you. Uh, <laughs> well, so, OK, I got to ask because. Listen, the ending of this episode, fans, the wild more stands are going oh, to yeah. lose their dang minds, Cam. Oh, so yeah. tell me, tell me about directing Javicia and, and Megan in this scene. Did you just basically tell them like, have fun, enjoy yourselves or like. So actors, I have, I have so many actor friends that have had to do scenes like this and they can be uncomfortable. So my biggest thing was no matter what, I want this to be fun. I want this to be short and I want you to enjoy it. And I don't want to add anything. I don't want this to go longer than it has to. And those kind of scenes are hard. So we made sure to have um, int int intimacy coordinators on set so they could oversee everything, make sure everything went well. And what was great is they're, they're so great. They're such huge champions. Like they are warriors and they had such that we had fun. Like we made it fun. We made it beautiful. I, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. But I also, I'm also very glad that they trusted me to do this, to do such an important scene because, wow, like when I, when I read that in the script, I was like, wow, you're letting me direct this? Like, this is going to be, that, and, and that just goes to show how comfortable that I am on set with them and how comfortable they are with me. And the fact that it turned out so incredibly beautiful makes me so happy. Well, so the Wildmore ship is set in sail. Fans are going to be hey. happy there. Listen, I need to ask about Luke and Mary because y'all have been having some moments and then Poison Mary happened and there's like, there's there's tension, there's drama there. So tell me, uh, tell me is there hope? I, what, what's listen, going to happen with Luke and Mary? I'm not going to say anything. But what I will say is, you know, like Stephanie Brown did make a very strong appearance last season and with this season being so short, there's a lot of things that we didn't get to dive into this season. Um, so I, cause I remember last season, we talked a little bit about a love triangle and then we Stephanie did. appeared and then Stephanie disappeared. So uh, I don't really know what's going to happen this season slash the next, but um, hopefully we can see some Luke Fox love here and there. You know what I'm saying? He says, I don't know what's going to happen. You're <laughs> lying to me. And I know Am it. I, I just, I did, you know, since we wrapped the season, my brain, I don't, it's just, it's all a blur. And <laughs> who knows? <laughs> you, you do. And you just won't tell, but it's fine. It's great. You do. <laughs> It's it's all love between us, Cam. I we are running out of time. I have just one more question for you. Yeah. What I mean, okay, so you've you've become Batwing and of uh, and fully fledged Batwing. Like he is confident and he's like, I don't care if you think I'm ready, I'm doing this. You've directed an episode. You're I, what is left on your on your Batwoman <laughs> bucket list at this point? On my Batwoman bucket list. I mean, honestly, I would love to direct another and I would love just for for Luke to really get some meaty stuff if we have next season because you know we we're so used to seeing Luke in the back cave doing his thing and then he's been able to fly and do back wing stuff at the end of the episodes. I think next season, like how we saw Mary sort of get that poison ivy, like like she had some meaty meaty stuff this season, which I really loved watching. I would love to see what where Luke can really get to. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's where we are. Is just seeing how how dark and deep we can get with Luke. And um, and again, before we wrap, I just wanted to say, like, I'm just I cannot say how happy and thankful I am, not just to talk to you about this, because I, I was so hyped to talk to you, but also to have this opportunity because, you know, she dreams at sunrise, my new animated short. Like I I didn't know if I was ready to make that. 
And when I was trusted to make that short and I saw how it turned out and I saw how people reacted to it, I was like, wow, okay. And that was my first, my first real moment of, I can do this. I am a director. I can direct things. So when I got to do this episode, I went in with this, this certain confidence that I didn't expect to have. And I think that helped me make the episode what it is. So the fact that, you know, Carol Andrees and Greg Berlanti and Sarah Schechter and the writers and the cast and our crew, the fact that everyone trusted me to do this, it means the world. And to hear people like you, who I adore, say that it's like your favorite episode, it just, it really goes, I don't know, it just means a lot. Like I can't express how much I'm glowing right now. <laughs> and I mean, I can see it, man. You are literally glowing. Just, I mean, and you know, I saw you, I posted on Twitter, you saw it like, and in the Batwing suit, you strut, you glow. Like, Cam, you're living your life right now, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate that. And before we go, obviously, we mentioned She Dreams at Sunrise. Please watch that, people. And say it again, dude, award nominated animated right. short. Thank award so nominated director, Cameron <laughs> Johnson, is all I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs>